Greetings from Chicago Theological Seminary. I'm Alice Hunt, president of CTS. I've just completed my second academic year here. It's been a memorable one. We broke ground on our new building. We celebrated the arrival of two new faculty members, and we hosted events both on campus and in the greater Chicagoland area. And as always, our students have been busy in the classroom while at the same time actively involved in living out CTS's mission to transform society toward greater justice and mercy. I'd like to give you a glimpse into this past year in the life of the CTS community. I'll highlight important moments from the beginning of our academic year last fall until our recent commencement service. We want you to share in our joy and excitement about the life of this seminary, our present and our future. On October 15th, we celebrated a historic moment in the life of Chicago Theological Seminary. Trustees, students, alums, faculty, staff, neighbors, and friends gathered at the site of our new building at 60th and Dorchester for a ground blessing ceremony. The Reverend Bernice Powell Jackson, North American President of the World Council of Churches, was our keynote speaker. She talked about the challenges that face our communities on the south side of Chicago and elsewhere, and then urged us at CTS to build upon our foundation. Here's part of what she had to say. The question for you is how do you respond to such a time in such a place as this? How do you take on this enormous task, this incredible calling from God? The answer, I believe, is simple. Do the same thing that you are doing with respect to this new building at this new site. Be creative and build upon your foundation. Finally, we turned our attention to the ground we would be blessing. Professor Joanne Terrell led the pouring of libations as we remembered all those who came before us. And then we moved some dirt. Oh. <laughs> This exciting new building should be completed in 2011. Construction is well underway, and I invite you to visit our website where you can watch the progress of construction on our new building. This year, CTS also renewed a commitment to provide continuing education for ordained clergy and lay leaders. We held two lectionary workshops that brought together students, alums, local clergy, and lay leaders to prepare them for the coming seasons. In the fall, Professor Timothy Sandoval led an Advent lectionary workshop at Covenant United Church of Christ in South Holland, Illinois. Then in January, Professor Dow Edgerton focused on preaching scandalous gospel during the Lenten season at the First Congregational Church of Western Springs. In April, CTS hosted its annual Ministerial and Lay Leadership Institute. The theme of this year's institute was merging mind and soul with what matters. Ten different presenters led workshops on topics ranging from new worship and media strategies to clergy and congregational burnout. The institute was also a time of fellowship and worship. The Reverend Dr. Frank Thomas of Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church received the 2010 Distinguished Alumni Award and preached the Tuesday night worship service. At this Ministerial and Lay Leadership Institute, we also celebrated the arrival of our newest faculty member, the Reverend John Thomas. John delivered a keynote address entitled, Texting While Driving, The Problem of Attentiveness in Ministry. He came to us in January after 10 years of service as General Minister and President of the United Church of Christ. At CTS, he serves as Senior Advisor to the President and Visiting Professor in Church Ministries. Two weeks after the Institute, we celebrated our second new faculty member, Rabbi Dr. Rachel Mikva, at the official inauguration of the Rabbi Herman Shalman Chair in Jewish Studies. 
Rabbi Mikva moderated a discussion on morality in the marketplace with a group of distinguished panelists. We are so pleased to be carrying on the interfaith legacy of people like Rabbi Herman Shalman and Professor Emeritus Andre Lecoque. Our faculty members continue to be active in the intellectual and spiritual life of the community. Along with their teaching, they have also published numerous articles and presented lectures across the country and around the globe. Professor Lee Butler and Professor Ted Jennings both had new books published. Lee's book is called Listen, My Son, Wisdom to Help African American Fathers. Ted's book is entitled Plato or Paul, The Origins of Western Homophobia. Our faculty is also active in the work of our many academic centers. In the fall, the Center for the Study of Black Faith and Life presented the third annual Charles Shelby Rooks Lecture, delivered by Dr. Arthur Presley of Drew University. In May, the LGBTQ Religious Studies Center hosted Dr. Ellen Armour of Vanderbilt University as the 2010 Hilberto Castaneda Lecturer. CTS students are at the heart of all this work. Their development as transformative religious leaders is the reason we are here. This year, over 200 students in master's and doctoral programs were enrolled at CTS, taking courses that range from people in faith of Israel, to frontier questions in queer ethics, to the practice of Christian ministry. Our students were also active outside the classroom. Many completed their field work in local churches throughout Chicago, while others engaged in less traditional ministries. Here are just a few examples. Zachary Moon, who graduated with an MDiv last month, traveled to New York City with me in March to represent CTS as part of the Truth Commission on Conscience in War. Denise Grossman, a current MDiv student, helped launch a summer program that will serve former incarcerated women and their children. Eric Kepnick, another MDiv student, worked with homeless youth through his field placement at the Knight Ministry. Students Francisco Herrera, Rebecca Bohannon, and Rochelle Brown prepared hygiene kits to send to Haiti with Director of Community Life Ayana Johnson. Finally, this spring, we celebrated yet another commencement, sending our 50 graduates into the world with a joyous ceremony. That day, we also presented honorary degrees to three women who radically transformed and continue to transform the church and the world toward greater justice and mercy. Beverly Harrison, Carter Hayward, and Dolores Williams. At the ceremony, we also remembered CTS's class of 1970. Here's what one of our student leaders said about this class during commencement. The class of 1970 was a class of peacemakers acknowledging the social conditions of their nation that was at war abroad and at home. The class abstained from commencement activities asking the Board of Trustees to apply their funds toward peace activities. On this 40th anniversary of the class of 1970's demonstration of peace, we paused silently raising our right fist as an act of solidarity and gratitude. It is indeed an exciting time to be a part of the CTS community. I hope you will want to engage fully in our life. There are many opportunities to do so. You can take a class, enroll in a degree program, participate in a continuing education opportunity, and become part of our mailing list so that you can receive our monthly email newsletter and our Tower News magazine. You are a part of CTS, and we appreciate the various ways you support the seminary. If you have given a gift to CTS this year, please accept our heartfelt thanks. Your gifts to our annual fund make it possible for us to continue our mission of preparing leaders for ecclesial and social transformation. If you haven't yet had a chance to do so and want to do it now and in the future, you can make a gift by going to our website or giving us a call. Thank you and have a great summer.